everyone! Welcome back to IntegralCalc.com. Today we're going to be doing an example of converting spherical coordinates to Cartesian coordinates or rectangular coordinates. The spherical coordinates that we're starting with are 2, 0, pi. And as with converting coordinates, no matter what coordinates you're converting, the most difficult part of any problem is remembering these formulas. So when it comes to spherical coordinates, we have to remember the following formulas. Our original spherical coordinates um, are in the form rho, phi, and theta. So to convert to rectangular or Cartesian coordinates, we have these three formulas here, um, where we have rho, phi, and theta um, plugged in. So really all we have to do is plug in the values that are in our spherical point here to these three formulas, and it'll give us our Cartesian coordinates back. So when we plug in two for when we plug in two for rho, um, zero for phi and pi for theta, we'll get these three equations here for x, y, and z using these formulas. So now what we have to do is use the unit circle to evaluate. And when we bring in our unit circle here, um, we will have to evaluate at the angle zero uh, for sine. So we go to our unit circle and we look for the angle zero where the angle equals zero, which is here along the x-axis. And since we're looking for sine at that angle, that means we're looking for the y-coordinate, which you can see here is zero. So that means that our uh, equation for our x-coordinate is gonna be two times zero. And then for cosine of pi, again, we go to our unit circle to the point at which the angle is equal to pi. And because we're looking for cosine of that angle, we are looking for the x-coordinate there, which is negative one in this case. So we go back to our formula here and we get x equals two times zero times negative one, which is gonna give us zero. Now for our y-coordinate, we're looking for sine of zero and sine of pi. So if we go back to our unit circle here, we're looking for the place where our angle is equal to zero, and sine of that coordinate is, or sine of that angle is going to be the y coordinate there. So sine of zero will be zero. We also have to look for sine of pi, and again, um, sine of pi here is where the angle is equal to pi. Sine of the angle is zero, so we have zero again. So heading back out to our formula, we can see that uh, we're going to end up with y equals two times zero times zero, which is gonna give us zero. Now for our z coordinate, uh, we need to again, look at the unit circle, find the place where the angle is equal to zero, and that's here again along the x-axis, and then take cosine of that angle, which again, cosine is the x-coordinate, y is the, um, or sine is the y-coordinate, so cosine of zero is gonna be the x-coordinate here, which is negative one, as you can, or sorry, positive one, as you can see. So jumping back out here to our equation, you can see that we'll end up with z equals two times one, which is gonna be equal to two. So when we put those three together, we get our final answer, which is zero, zero, two. And that's how we convert spherical coordinates in the form rho, phi, theta to Cartesian or rectangular coordinates in the form x, y, z. So I hope that helped you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.